Hello and welcome, and we're cracking straight on today because this is a quick fix for you. So, um, this is for the PlayStation 4 controller. Now, I don't know if you've had the same issue as me, but sometimes with my family, when they're playing this and they want to keep playing it, and the battery runs out, they kind of play it with the cable in. And then when you're playing it with the cable in, the cable moves around and waggles around, and then you end up finding out that no longer charges unless you waggle the, the cable in a certain direction. Have you had that problem? I've had that problem on a couple of mine so far, and I wanted to find a fix, and I found one. Okay, so a really, really quick fix. All this is gonna do is gonna take you probably five, 10 minutes and uh, 12 pounds. So I'll leave a link below of where you can get this little kit. You get it off, um, off Amazon, and we're just going to replace the micro USB bit in there. And it's dead simple, and it fixes it. And yeah, you, you end up with a with a micro USB cable uh, socket there. You can just plug it in, and it works as is, as expected. Because I thought I'm gonna have to get a new controller. No, not anymore. If you're gonna have a look though, what you've got to do first is you've got to take it apart. And you've got to go and have a look at this piece first because there are five different types. Now, my one is the JDS 055 or JDS 050. Go and have a look. I'll leave. I'll leave a link of where you can go and have a look of which one yours is, but you've got to take it apart first, look at it, order the part, then replace it, okay? So I'm gonna tell you how to actually go through and replace this, dead, dead simple. So this is the kit you get. So what it comes with is you get a screwdriver, so which you can use if you want to. I won't be using that one because I've got this one from Extreme Rate. I got this off Amazon, but it actually came with my Joy-Con shells. So I use that one. And also comes with two ribbons uh, because you get two of them in the pack. I didn't use them. I used the original one that came with that. So I can put them to one side. And then also here is the main bits. Here are the two bits you get. So two exactly the same pieces you get. And I'm going to use this one and replace it into this one. So this one's just a spare if you want to do another DS controller or if you want to do this one at a later date. So keep them nice and spare, those extra bits. And this is the bit that we're going to put in. So this is the JDS-055, JDS-050. Okay, so there's that. And then you also get a nice little thank you card with it, brilliant. I've also got my magnetic dish here just to put my screws on. And again, not needed. And you might need some tweezers, but I found I can just pull them out with my fingers. It's that easy. Okay, so let's get started. What the first thing you want to do is flip it over and you've got four screws. One, two, three, and four. So pop all four of those out. Once that's done, don't open it just yet because what you need to do is you need to kind of separate these bits here. This is an official one, so you can see it all runs all the way, all the way along there, and you just need to get this open, okay? You can do it with your hands, or you can get one of those tools that does it for you. I kind of just run my fingernail along it, and at some point, it will just pop open. And once it has popped open, just don't pull it apart just yet. Okay, nearly there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all out now. Don't pull it apart just yet, because you've got to be very careful, because when you open it up, these two pieces are attached. So what you want to do is, on this side where the, where the thumbsticks are, and the battery, this ribbon here, you can just pull out, okay? It just comes out with a bit of, bit of a pull, and then you're done. So this bit can be put to one side. If you want to change your battery for a different battery, this is where you do it. Take your battery out to replace it, but we're just going to leave this to one side, because we won't be needing this until we put it back together again. Straight away, you can see the piece that we need to replace, that we need to get to it first, and we've got to take off three plastic bits first. So, kind of this white bit here sits in, so you need to pop it up one side and pull it out. We've got there. Then we've got this bit here that will just pop out there. It hooks into there, but you just need to take that out. And then we've got this bit that just falls out. Okay, then we've got this ribbon. So this is the, the original ribbon that I'm going to use Pull that out and leave that there. So you can, if you wanted to, you could use the one that came with the pack. I haven't, I've used this one because it's already bent into the nice shape that you need to put it back in. And then here, and you've got a 
bit of sellotape on there, so you need to take off that sellotape. Try and keep it on to this bit if you can, because we're gonna take it off in a minute. Okay, and then undo that screw. And then all this does is it just pops off. So it's kind of sat in these two holes here. All you do is you just lift it off like that. Okay, so there's the bit that I found that was broken on my controller. So I'm going to now put it over and replace it with this bit. So first thing first, I'm gonna take off this bit of sticky and it should be enough sticky enough just to stick back on here. Okay, that's just to help it sit in there if you need to. Try and stick that back on. And then putting this bit in here, all you do is you, you pop it in and it kind of clips in a bit, okay? So if you can get it nicely sit up there, if you look in there, that there hole there, it sits in that hole so it kind of just clips in and it stays in there. Okay, then once that's in, get that sticker stuck back on there as best you can there. Mine's lost a bit of its stick, unfortunately. So maybe get some new electrical tape. Oh no, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, it does stick in there. Okay, and then we're just reversing the procedure. So what you're gonna do now is put on the cable. So we're gonna put this bit that cable in there it's the the longer of the bit that goes in here the the twirly bit here goes on the top because that's going to fit into the other piece just put that in and just make sure that it's give it a little tug just to make sure that it's in okay then we're going to go and put these three back in so reversing the process put this one back in here like this got to put this screw back in okay so make sure that screws in first there, make sure that screws in before you do these three. There we go, that bit's in, so that bit's in. Then we do this bit, and the way this bit goes in is you clip, keep that one in, because that's just in there simply by gravity. This bit here, this bit here, clips into there, and then it, that bit there goes through that hole, and then this one with it just sticks over the top, like that. Okay, then this bit, and the way you put this back in is you get this end into here, like that, that over the other side, and all you do is you simply push it down. Okay, there you go, and it clips in, and that's all nicely in now. Okay, right now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this back on here, so get them like this, and you're going to put this blue bit here into here. So all it is, is folding it over, folding it over, and then just pushing it back in. There's no clip, just pushing it back in as far as it goes. And then when you, if you can see this, when you fold it back, this bit of plastic here needs to go in here, this gap here and this in here. Okay, so there's a gap here. So this is the outside of the controller here. This is just the inside of the controller. So this bit needs to go in there. So when you put it in, make sure it goes in there like that. Okay, then snap it together. There we go. At this point, I just put one screw back in because what I want you to do first is test it. So. Stick one screw, it doesn't matter which one, any screw it back in. Okay, and now if you if your red light, if it comes on here and it's red, just reset it. Okay, using the controller, just holding that down for a few seconds, reset it. Because the first time I did this was red, all I did was reset it, and it was fine. So one screw in, and then it will just go into test it. So I've got this linked up here, and that plugged in. And there we go, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but that is glowing orange and then it's fading away. Okay, so we know it's working, know it's charging, and even if I give it a bit of a wiggle, here we go, still, still glowing, still glowing, still glowing, and it's fading away. So we know it works. So once that's done, so we know it works, 
make sure that screws in, put the remaining three screws back in. There we have it. Almost a brand new PlayStation 4 controller. So if you are having problem with the wiggly cable and it stops charging if you wiggle it about, think about doing this. It's very cheap, very quick, very easy, and it's almost like having a new controller again because this is now gonna work. So I can now have a controller that charges up. Absolutely superb. Okay, I'll leave all the links below where you can get all this stuff. Do ask me any questions. If you've got any questions for this, um, I'll happily answer them. Um, but that was it, really. That was how to change the Mark USB slot on your PlayStation 4 controller. Please do stick a thumbs up if this helps you out and do think about subscribing. Okay, that's it then. Thanks very much. This has been Console Tech Accessories and until the next video, bye-bye.